It is the Wrestle Lingus Show back once again on the Smoking Joe Network. Making those pennies, baby. Smoking Joe. Smoking Joe. Files. That's what it is. The Creative Control Network. We're He's back. Like a sounder we can drop in there, you know, like cr- 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 Creative Control or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking, wah, 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 all that fucking good stuff. <laughs> Oh, God, we are rocking and rolling, baby. The number three show on the Creative Control Network, hunting down uh, Dr. Tom and looking at you, Kevin Sullivan, from (laughs) below. And boy, is he nuts. Um, (laughs) (laughs) So, yes, we are climbing the the ladder here. We also have, if you guys haven't noticed, you guys are probably getting it on your feed all the time, the five days of Lingus. Mm -hmm. Uh, part of the 32 days of lingus that is on we wanted to just give it a little bit of a treat leading up to mania on saturday so each day this week a new one will drop leading up to that and all 32 on exactly all 32 are on the patreon.com slash lingus mafia for as little as five bucks you can go to the archives and hear all that but we know what we've mentioned it a million times so i want to give yeah. everybody a little taste give me a little um, taste you know, you know yeah yeah i hear what you say i hear what you say until you hear it and then go now that's worth five fucking whole dollars. I'll go listen to 32 of those. And yeah. then also a billion of the fucking Saturday night main events, the summer slams and the Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble. So all of those are there. You could binge those and leave. If you don't like similar to those anywhere from 50, 15 to about, I think half hour tops, but most of them around, I'd say on average, if we were to average it out, probably 20 minute shows. I would say twenties. Yeah. Um, and remember also your pay-per-view, reviews because if you're listening on the creative control network you go well fuck i want i listen to it for free there's commercials who cares um you don't get your pay-per-view review those are exclusive for patreon because we needed something to say well why would you be on patreon other than we do bonus shows and stuff like that that's over there but those type of things are exclusively on patreon if you want to watch this fucking show you could do that on patreon too uh by the way i'm cab manning and he's fausty walnuts what do you hear what do you say uh Boy, a lot of things going on, Faust. We're going to first get to an email that we got, um, and then we're going to talk a little bit about CM Punk, and then we're going to jump into your WWE review because Mania is just four days away if you're counting today. Yeah. Email from Chris Cortez. And by the way, if you'd like to send us an email, lingusmafia at gmail.com. Mm. What's up, fellas? Congrats on another successful Miss Lingus. Next year, hopefully, can make it so the ballot cannot be submitted unless all the picks are made. We'll look into that, see if we can. You know how Rob was saying, yeah. like, oh, this person, somebody didn't vote. So there would be that someone. Weird. So maybe I we think, can figure it out. Yeah, I mean, this is it is all like, no, but we're not looking at it, like judging it or something. It's yeah, machinery or whatever. You know, it's all technical. Yeah, we're always trying to figure out how to make this better. Yeah. I have a question and a comment. First, what do you guys think? Uh, guys like Edge, who left to cut promos to empty arenas, are honestly seeing, honestly thinking, seeing this build up to Mania and have the entire Mania season. The crowds have been electric. Unless it's only about the money, they got to think it was a big mistake to leave. I, first of all, guys who have been around that long, mm-hmm. been there, done that, they've done it already. Um, I think they're all about get the money and I don't fucking begrudge them because they've done right. it. Sorry. They're not going, my goal is to get to rest fucking yeah. Edge main event. Edge's main event at Mania before. Yeah. Um, this could be like when you win your Super Bowl Faust at a discount price. <laughs> now I will play for the worst fucking team in the world and be the highest paid. Mm-hmm. Fine. I you you're doing this for your life, for living. Yeah. Um, it's not Oh, I just want to be remembered. This is to be, I'm set forever and and done. Um, and I'm sure at the same time, they're like, oh, I would like a fucking audience in front of me. It, right. it fucking helps. It sure the fuck helps. And then you think, where would Edge fit in and what storyline right I'm now? I'm sure they know. make one. Sure they I'm figure some out. But then you got someone like Brian Danielson, where I'm sure he's happy that he gets to do whatever the fuck he wants. 
doesn't have to wrestle all the time. He can go wrestle in Mexico if he wants. He can go off to Japan. He's he's probably just enjoying he's, his freedom to do whatever he wants. Yeah, and get a lot of money to do it and less time. I think also with Vince gone, mm -hmm. some of these guys have got to be like, ooh, maybe I would enjoy this better now because it's yeah. huge. It's organized because... I could see a Malachi Black thinking, hmm, I was no. kind of one of Hunter's guys. Maybe he would yes. take me back and actually do something with me. Yeah. Not like Tony's doing much with him. I think I it very it smells very WCW to me. Uh mm -hmm. when I hear shit like where now Punk has, you know, said how disorganized and it it rings to those I get a FedEx check with 52 cents. <laughs> and it, you know, it, it does. It pushes that in my head about he went away for a fucking surgery and never heard from anyone for six months. That's crazy. It's weird shit. Like, how are you that which means it is not a real quote unquote company. Like mm -hmm. people aren't in charge of having like we say continuity, even in their real life in the back continuity, they don't have. And it's like Someone should have things on a fucking calendar almost to where you're like, he's been gone. Like, I have a fucking, here's my punk calendar. There's a surgery. <laughs> fucking for people who are out right. there. You will fucking forget, Faust. I mean, punk, it wouldn't be forgotten because he he's their biggest fucking star. Mm -hmm. But you, one of these, a, a lowly slob, Faust, and if it's an automatic check being cut, you be quiet and you don't fucking say a word until they fucking. One of the guys that got released yesterday is injured right now. But then again, he got injured on an indie, from what I understand. So you know what? Better what you get. It's stupid. <laughs> I got. I got. I want to scream about fucking Tony Khan so bad. This show. It's. I'm so fucking. Like he just. He reminds me of that little fucking nerd kid, and I want to fucking bully him and punch him in his fucking poodle face. What his hair do? Because he is such a little fucking bitch. Being not being a fucking boss, a real mm -hmm. fucking person in charge. The pair of balls that are raisins on this motherfucker. He wants to be fucking friends, and God bless you for being a nice person. Because mm -hmm. that's what he is. He's just Mister. He probably be a nice fucking guy you would hang out with. He's just Mister a sweetheart, right? Not a fucking businessman for sure. He didn't make his fucking. He didn't. Start, sure, he's got money and by a company that he has been doing and stuff. Faust, that company doesn't even start to happen unless he gets startup shit from dad right. in the first place. So it's not like they said, you go work at fucking McDonald's and make some fucking money and then grow yourself yourself. Mm -hmm. Dad's the genius that I fucking tip my hat to all the time. God bless you. Uh, shot fucking god bless you. you fucking had a brain you did it yourself this guy fucking you know he wanted to come lottery is what the fuck he did and to not have the fucking balls where i take what people say as truth until proven otherwise like with this kind of shit where he punk tells because if punk were to say all this stuff and it to be a lie mm -hmm. they have cameras all over this fucking place they would be able to go, oh, he didn't fucking do this, did he? Okay, now let's fucking show this. So fuck yeah. you. Look what the fuck really happened. Look, he lunged at fucking Tony when he said he didn't fucking do shit. There would be all kind of, now you're a fucking liar mm -hmm. and you are fucked. Forever you will be known as the fuck. No one will ever take your word for shit, nothing. And how they built him up all the time, because Faust, coming into WWE... All I ever knew was he was a troublemaker over there. Started mm -hmm. shit. Everybody didn't fucking want him there. It's from what you fucking heard over there. So why is it a lie if Punk then tells his fucking story? Now that's the fucking lie. Okay. Right. And I'm telling you, Tony gets taken advantage of. Guarantee you these oh, motherfuckers yeah. say this fucking Mark. Look at what let's fucking get paid. This fucking idiot. Do what we want. When we want fucking punk, I mean, uh, the Bucks don't even fucking lift a weight anymore. They don't give mm -hmm. a fuck. You get all, they, they're fucking rich and done. <laughs> they don't have to do shit. Yep. So they all fucking take advantage of Tony, knowing his niceness. And if somebody smells the blood in the water, they're going to fucking take advantage of him. And I had said on the Lingus Mafia show that we were just doing, it's the episode from fucking Cheers where Norm had to fire somebody and he fucking cried when he fired people. So every person he fired, 
fucking comforted Norm for firing them. I uh, know it's okay. It's all right. You know, I'll be fine. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I had to fire you. I, I, this is what I'm seeing in my head that he is fucking crying. I fucking had to fire. Or he's telling someone else to do it because he's fucking got no balls to fucking have to go. I have to do this, but I have to fucking let you go. Like, I do not see him having the balls to fucking do it. He wants to be friends and he doesn't want anything bad to be fucking said. Where you got to be a businessman and you got to fucking say this is fucking.